Welcome to Christ Center Gamer's video game review of Magicka. Magicka is a game that revolves around magic, surprisingly. Uh, you have your uh, your mage, and if you have uh, the DLC, you, your, your default mage looks like this with a hood, but the DLC gets you a Final Fantasy or a Gandalf looking mage. And you can choose your uh, different colors there. I like purple, so um, let me just kind of start the game. There are 13 chapters. Now sadly, I'm going to skip through this because I've played this chapter a few times. Um, I've played it online and I've also um, played it by myself a couple times and I've gotten to the boss, but uh, this game has crashed on my desktop. Stability is a big issue. Uh, well, The basic uh, game mechanics are uh, you have eight elements and you can combine up to five things at a time to uh, make a spell. I'm just going to heal or put a spell on myself and you can put stuff around you or sorry on you around you and you can beam stuff out too. So that kind of hurt. I heal myself and so yeah I'm just using... Uh, so now see, see, he once he doused me with water there, you can't use electricity, so you got to be very careful. You know, and elements will cancel each other out. Um, so, uh, my main gripes with this game so far is the uh, stability. I've had this game crash a desktop, usually when I'm at the boss. And if that doesn't make uh, things bad enough, uh, you know, having crashes, is that this game uses checkpoints. And so... Here I am at the boss, you know, spending a half hour of my time to get to that part. And then to have it crash a desktop and I can't resu restore from that. I have to go back and start the whole game o over again. So that's very frustrating. The, but the developers, I will say in their defense, that they have been patching the game like practically every day or every other day since it's been released. Um, so, why do I keep coming back to this game? Well, it's fun, that's, that's the thing, and it's hilarious, too. Is, you know, the humor in this game is it's top-notch. The language, it's kind of like Swedish gibberish. Uh, so it's just really funny. And it rewards you for finding things. There's lots of Steam achievements. Oh, by the way, mages cannot swim, so avoid water without freezing it over. I'm still wet, so I'm going to douse myself with fire. Ah, there we go. There, now I'm dry again. Heal, and put my shield back on. Okay, so... So yeah, so you saw me use some electricity, you saw me use some ice, and there's... Uh, see, there's fire. And there's some really cool spells that you will, as you can see, I got Blizzard there. Um, I like, this one's pretty cool, Meteor Shower. So, yeah, so th there's obviously, as you can tell, there's lots of eye candy to be seen here. Um... So we got that guy gone. Um, so yeah, so this is the single player campaign, 13 chapters. There's also um, like a challenge mode where you go to an arena and you can um, just see how long you can survive hordes of enemies. Um, there's co-op mode. You can play single player co-op. You can just have somebody grab a game controller and join in or you can do multiplayer. Um, Uh, that's Vlad, who denies being a vampire. So, yeah, pretty funny stuff. And there's lots of tributes to games. Uh, you know, there's references to, you know, Zelda, references to Metal Gear, King, uh, King's Quest, uh, all sorts of... Lots of funny moments.
so um, so yeah if you don't mind kind of the stability issues uh, this game is reasonably priced at ten dollars uh, appropriateness issues well it says there's some language there's definitely some blood you can disable it but there still comes some splatches here and there so uh, but obviously magic use so if you don't like magic <laughs> you know there, there is you know me melee weapons but uh, this game is all about magic so So I hope you found this video review helpful. Thank you for watching.